business started with a collaboration in India with all product testing and is now live. Well, to explore the benefits of this new work, we're, and well, I'm joined by Jesse Chenard, uh, executive chairman and co-founder of Manita Go. He's joined by me as well. <laughs> by all three of us. <laughs> Do we want you that much? We're fighting over you. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> there's plenty of me to go around, don't worry. Oh, that's fantastic. But look, <laughs> you've, you have achieved some fantastic ma major milestones this year. I mean, tell us more about them, because the field in which you're working, it is a game of cat and mouse, really, staying ahead of the fraudsters, because the frauds themselves are getting more sophisticated. Yeah, so uh, as, as mentioned, uh, we got our start in India, uh, initially just helping three receivables exchanges to uh, identify and eliminate duplicate financing fraud amongst them in the invoices. Uh, that then uh, expanded into a relationship with Swift India, uh, whereby they actually resell our service out to the banks there. They were looking to expand sort of the depth of their, their products beyond payments. Um, that then wound it up uh, with the relationship with Swift Global, uh, because this is obviously not just a domestic problem in India or in Singapore, where we've won the trade finance registry deal, uh, but it's a global problem and it's cross-border as well. So. Swift Global, just about two years ago, came to us and said, we'd like to really offer this out to the, to the world and, and, and partner with you guys on that. So about fast forward two and a half years later, COVID slowed things down a little bit, uh, but that product la launched live uh, this last year, the secure financing product. So there have been a number of different achievement, achievements this year. Uh, one of them is a white paper that's uh, being published, I think, today uh, with, in conjunction with the ICC around what this problem is. And it's not just invoices, it's bills of lading, it's purchase orders, warehouse receipts, anything that could be used in, 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 in a trade finance transaction um, is unfortunately subject to these potential uh, uh, duplicate financings. Mm. Now yourself and two colleagues will be on stage with Swift at this year's Cybos. Give us a little insight on what what will be discussed. So um, you know, I think uh, one of the, one of the things that we've seen is is that you've got these registries that have started up. We've been running one in India. You've got one in Dubai, UA Trade Connect, um, and 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 now it's really about standardization. Um, so Oz is speaking. Uh, uh, Oswald Kyler uh, will be speaking around what he's what work he's done at the ICC around the Digital Standards Initiative. Um, and then really it's about shining a spotlight on this, on these types of frauds and, and, and identifying where, not just looking at the deduplication aspect of it, but also authentication. So not only do you have an invoice and it hasn't been financed elsewhere, but is it valid? So looking at maritime data, looking up customs data, if the tax authority is, is a central uh, invoice issuer, then looking into that and just making sure that what's being presented matches what's, uh, what's um, being uh, actual in, in reality, the, the physical goods or the shipment or what have you. Sure, I mean, there is so much happening and, and, and as you said, the, the frauds themselves have become very, very sophisticated. Yeah. You're actually looking at these invoices. How can you be sure that they are authentic, they're genuine? But given that, what do you see as the next major milestone that Manita Go is likely to reach? And when will you be able to, to share that news with us? Like in the next 30 seconds, I'm angling for an exclusive here. <laughs> I wouldn't be a journalist if I didn't try to get an exclusive. Exactly, exactly. So, so I mean, I think it, obviously the, the, the global services just launched in the last week or so here. So um, it's about onboarding banks. Uh, we've got a number of the major trade banks around the world that are all very, very keen on the solution. Um, it's kind of something that sells itself when you walk into a, a, a compliance department or, or a trade finance manager and say, how would you like to reduce the risk in your, in your, uh, in your transactions? The answer is always a resounding yes. So for us right now, it's really about getting to scale, rolling it out into the key markets um, and, and partnering with some of the major trade banks around the world to, to help them with that. Now, Manita Go made headlines moving away from blockchain, can you explain to us a bit about what what the significance of this is? So I think I think that was a, a very overplayed. Uh, it obviously got a lot of publicity. Um, we still call ourselves a blockchain company. We are very very. We probably have some of the most foremost experts. The, the platform that we have running in India is still running on R3's Corda. Um, it's, it's funny, when we first launched Hyperledger, used to come out, Brian Bellendorf, the old executive uh, chair for Hyperledger, used to come out and say, this is the first blockchain running in day-to-day -day use in the financial services space. And I joke now that it's probably still the only blockchain running in day-to-day -day use in the financial services space. Um, the reason why we've made a technological shift is because of the global nature of what we're doing. Um, to register a few million invoices a year or what have you in India, Blockchain is completely appropriate for that, and, and it was a great use case because of the uh, overhead that's associated with it, the management and not ne needing auditors and what have you. 
when you take that and scale it across every invoice, purchase order, bill of lading, warehouse receipt, any type of document that's used around the world, um, that then becomes a much more daunting proposition um, in terms of just the volume of transactions that are going through. And then also the computing overhead that's required for this, uh, it's, 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 there are other ways to achieve the same goals that you have um, while still using blockchain. And like I said, we've got other products that we are ultimately long-term working on, and most of those will actually have some blockchain element to them. But for this secure financing application, um, just from scale, cost, considerations, uh, it made sense for us to take uh, it to the cloud and use Google's secure computing product, which gives us the privacy elements that you'd want out of blockchain, but without having the, the overhead associated mm. with it. And I mean, Secure Financing is the product that's being f formally launched at Cybos. Yeah. And just to put it in context, it's the first fintech solution to be available via Swift's new API gateway, because yeah. you were talking about that relationship with Swift. But what does this mean if you translate it into the wider trade of finance market? So, so um, from a fintech perspective, onboarding with a bank is an extremely arduous process. And then multiply that by the 11,000, what have you, member banks that Swift has in its, in its ecosystem. Um, for instance, with one of the major banks we onboarded with, they put us through their fast track program. And that took about nine months for just one bank. So the scale of, uh, of, of a startup being able to go and onboard with each, go through that similar same process with each of these different banks is, is very daunting. Um, the nice part that we learned about with working with Swift in India is that we went through the security audits, the compliance checks, the code reviews, things like that with Swift. And then once the, the banks get the offering from Swift, they go, okay, well, if Swift is offering it, this, this makes a lot, like it makes it a lot easier to get onboarded and, and, and what have you. So they, for me, there's two things. One is the secure communication that Swift provides, and then the other is the authentication of identity. And those are two really key things when you're, you're a fintech and you're trying to get your solution in the door of, of a bank, which are by nature very, very secure. A couple of great benefits there. Uh, talk us through some others, perhaps, of minutes ago working with Swift. So many companies try and compete with them. What are the benefits of actually working with? So I, I, you know, I, I think you, you, you've heard of different DLTs or, or blockchains out there that say, oh, you, you don't need Swift anymore and what have you. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that Swift is trusted by the compliance and security departments of every bank in the world by nature of what it does. Uh, but not only that, the regulators understand Swift. The central banks know that Swift's offering what it is and, 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 and the level of excellence that they go to to make sure that it's secure. Um, so. As a fintech, you can go and try and push the rock up a hill and go, oh, I'm going to replace Swift and what have you, but I believe that's hubris uh, because you, it's, it shows a complete lack of understanding of how this is actually all is put together and the role that Swift plays as a trusted intermediary in between these folks. So, like I say, the benefits for us as a fintech are we walk in with the Swift stamp of approval and they're using the same API that they'd use for GPI, so the, the IT departments are all very familiar with it, um, and it, it, it's kind of a leg up for us. So instead of, like I said, going through the nine-month fast-track program for, uh, for onboarding all these things, um, you basically just out of the gate are, are ready to go. Well, it's lovely to see people working together so well as we finally get to see each other face to face at this yeah, year's Cybos. Uh, Jesse from Money to Go, thank you very much for joining us here at Cybos TV at Cybos 2022. Have a fantastic few days. Excellent. Ahead. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you.